City. All right, ready? My name is Spencer Weber. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. So the way I uh, got into choppers was we ended up flying back east to go see my grandpa. He wasn't doing so well. He's in the hospital, but while we were out there, we figured out that uh, there was a show going on at the Brooklyn Invitational and just, you know, heard of his choppers and stuff. So we ended up going down there and just seeing all those guys riding around on those, you know, rigid bikes and everything. And then seeing Tom Fugel's build there and Mac, Mac Shaft's build the grim raper was just it was crazy i was just like what what are these bikes this is so cool you know so i just that really lit the spark and i was like i would like to you know put together my own bike so this is uh my my most recent build it's a 1976 shovel head and uh i built it last winter it was a uh, winter at 2022 and I just had the frame, you know, laying around for a while and the Springer, the, the Springer's is a mix. It's a 14 over and the frame's just an early Paco frame. And we ended up uh, raking out the neck, you know, it's about 40 degrees now, so it sits pretty good. And uh, ended up getting the motor from some guy over here in uh, Ogden, Utah. And me and my brother dug it out. It was like 105 degrees or something that day. And I was just, you know, I had some money. I was trying to get a motor and a trans and stuff. So this guy, he's got a bunch of like complete shovels, you know, original stuff that he doesn't really want to part with. And I'm like, I just need a motor and trans. And he's like, well, I got his bike over here under this bench. So we're like, all right. So we're like digging through this garage and get under this bench and we ended up having to pull the motor like underneath the bench and everything. It was, it was pretty crazy, but yeah, it's, it's been solid. I've uh, had to do some work on it, you know, and rebuild the top end and some other things, learned a lot. It's, it's been a fun process. Some of my favorite parts on this bike are um, probably the, the coffin tail light, I like that a lot. I ended up getting that from my buddy, AJ. He just was like, yeah, I got this thing laying around. I feel like it would look really good on this bike. And I, so this is the first bike that I did all the Bondo and the paint and everything. And uh, it was pretty uh, hyped on how it all come out. And the tank, I had my buddy, Brad Mariachi, he painted it. He's a tattoo artist. and. This is the first time uh, he did one. He's done one shot on something like that, and he was like, oh, "I don't know, man. I just, I was like, it's whatever, dude. I was like, just you know, go for it. I just want to school on there. We'll just, we'll just see how it comes out. And I, I feel like it turned out pretty cool, so I'm pretty happy with it. So, so with this build and other stuff that I've put together, I, I really like a uh, '60s, early '70s um, look to them, you know. I like to keep them nice and tight. I like to run the sissy bars pretty straight up and down and just from bikes in the past, you know, just like old bike, biker movies like Hells Angels 69 and just all those biker B movies. We just, the winters are pretty brutal here. So we just sit and watch those videos and we're like, oh, that's, look at that sissy bar. That's so sick. Or look at the, you know, how he's got the bars and risers on that. Or look at the molding on that bike. And just, you know, just kind of go from there and then just other stuff, you know, the, the people around me, the people in Greasy Town, we're all kind of just like vibing off each other and just like, oh man, this would be sick, you know, try this. Or, you know, you give it different ideas about stuff and 
you know, next thing you know, you're just mocking up a bunch of different parts and everybody's in on it. We're like, oh yeah, this thing's gonna be sick, you know? And that's kind of how we just throw them together. The chopper scene is pretty cool in Utah. There's, there's a lot of us here, you know? There's a lot of pretty dedicated dudes that are just like, like, get, you know, just working away in the winter, just trying to get everything set up so we can get a good riding season in. You know, it never seems long enough, but you just, you have so many talented builders here and so much stuff going on, you know? You just, and our, our landscape's amazing to ride through. It's so much fun and yeah, just all the guys around here, just, you know, we get together and go ride whenever and it's good stuff. Everybody's kind of got their own little groups and stuff, but when we all meet up, everybody's just like, oh, hell yeah, man. It's just so good to see you, you know? And just everybody's like pretty cool down to earth here, you know? We don't, we're all in it doing the same thing. So we're very like-minded people and it's, you know, it's always good to see them. So if I gave any advice to anyone that's, you know, ever starting out or anything, like that golden, just the golden rule, don't be afraid to ask questions, no matter how stupid, whatever. You may feel like a dumbass for a little bit, but it's better, you know, like, we had some boys roll through here and I was just like kind of helping everybody out. And I'm like, you know, he's telling me I'm, I'm pretty new. Like this is my first chopper trip and stuff. And I'm like, Oh sick. I was like, how's your bike doing on oil? And he's like, well, I haven't checked it since we left. And I'm like, wait, how far have you rode? And he's like, uh, we've done like about over a thousand miles. I'm like, dude, you need to check your oil. <laughs> And uh, he's like, yeah, I was kind of worried because like it's not really, it was leaking, but it, it's not like leaking anymore. So he opened his oil bag and it's nothing. You know, he probably would have went another hundred miles and it would have seized up. But yeah, it's just like stuff like that. Like, don't be afraid to ask questions and just like every everybody, you know, you see somebody that's on a chopper and if you're really into it for good reasons and like the real reasons and shit and like you're willing to put the time in and learn like everybody's open arms so they'll help you out you know but you are gonna feel like a dumbass sometimes asking questions when you first start skateboarders are like it's kind of like how I was driven to the choppers and shit is like cause skating is like so gnarly and like pretty rough you know you have to work at it it's like if you're gonna ride a chopper it's you just like <clears throat> you have to keep it together like it's not an easy thing you know like you're just you're always working on it, it takes a certain kind of person to be riding a chopper did you record that <laughs> I thought I was you did. <clears throat> my name is Spencer Weber I hope you enjoyed checking out my bike and listen to my bullshit. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Cody's Chopper Corner. <laughs>